Hey everyone, it's the Gadget Guru. Um, kind of want to talk about this next format. Um, as you know, the first regionals are coming up on the first. Um, I believe there's one in uh, Arizona, and there's one over in Texas. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it's Texas. Um, and they're both on the first. There may be another one. I'm not sure. Um, but there's at least two or three that are on the first, so those will be the new, those regionals will set the, actually the precedence for the new format. Um, really, it's going to be an interesting format, it really is. The most played deck right now is Gravekeepers. It's just, it's got everything in its favor. It can play anti-meta, and still be meta at the same time. Tsukiyomi and Spy work perfectly, and it has answers. It can exceed, it can synchro, it can do anything it wants to. So, I mean, like, that's what I've been seeing on, uh, Dueling Network and in playtesting lately at, at locals and stuff, is literally almost everybody is running GKs. Like, I mean, it's it's such a popular deck. Um, and because it shuts down Insectors, it shuts down, um, you know, Plants, it shuts down Agents, um, well, in the sense that they can't play their Hyperion plays, and they can't, you know, do stuff like that. I mean, Necro Valley is such a strong card. It just is. I mean, you play Necro Valley, and it kills half the decks in the format right now. And people are just like, why is Necro Valley there? And then along with Necro Valley, you can play stuff like, you know, uh, Cyber and Dragon, or uh, Cyber, um, or sorry, Malefic uh, Cyber Dragon. And Malefic uh, Stardust Dragon. Like, Malefic Stardust. Protect your Necker Valley. I mean, you have a 25, you know, beat stick, and they can't destroy your field spell card. And you just push, push, push all day long. I mean, that's just what it is. Um, which I think is which I think is a really good idea. I mean, I said they just have so much advantage, this format, that, you know, they're really the number one deck being played right now. Just everybody's playing it. Um, but you're going to see Gravekeepers. You're going to see Heroes. I mean, Heroes are amazing now, you know? Now that we got the Dark... The Dark Fusion, they can super poly their way out of anything. And after, even if you exhaust all their monsters in their hand and on their field, drop Miracle Fusion, bam, new beat stick, shiny, you kill shiny, fine. Get back Stratos and another monster to my hand. Let's start this all over again. It really is just a compet. It really is just a really competitive loop through shining and Stratos. Um, so I said you're gonna have heroes. Uh, you're gonna have. Let's talk about the decks from last format, since those are definitely still gonna be around. Windups. They can't sack you anymore with the loop, but don't count them out. I mean, they can still exceed like crazy. I mean, they're an exceed deck, a C exceed whore. I mean, they can just do, 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 do. Oh, look, three exceeds, four exceeds, whatever they need to. So don't count them out. Um, You know, uh, Insectors. They didn't die. The, the way you played Insectors before is dead. Let me put it that way. That deck is dead. The deck you play now is a more aggro control deck, I guess you could say. You don't blow up everything anymore, because you only have one Hornet. And if they're rid of your Hornet, then yeah, you, you just have to start beating them with Exceeds and stuff. Um, and relying on BLS, Dark Arm, stuff like that. So, I said, it'll be interesting to see how they do this format. Um, do I personally think they're going to do well? I don't personally think they will, but I know a lot of people who strongly disagree with me, such as my... Um, one of my friends, and also VCTRFS, and they strongly agree. They believe Insectors are going to be very strong in this format, so we'll have to see. Um, uh, Dino Rabbit. I apologize if you can't really hear me very well. Um, I'm kind of under the weather right now. Sorry, guys. Um, but I still want to make the video. <laughs> um, so Dino Rabbit. You can still play it, but it's less consistent now. I mean, before you had three Rabbit and three Tour Guide. Now you have two Rabbit, two Tour Guide, and there's no more priority at the same time. So now with those two rabbits, if you could change his appearance. I mean, if they change his appearance, your tour guide, and change his appearance, your rabbit. Game's pretty much over. Scoop phase. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for playing. Um, and now, you know, that you only have two rabbit. You know, Valor's even more of a problem. Because before it didn't really matter because you had two rabbit, two tour. You had three rabbit, three tour guide. So you're going to draw one of them. And then if you didn't draw, if, and then you ran Gold Sarks, and you'll have to do that again. You will, will have to run Gold Sarks, in my opinion, if you're playing Rescue Rabbit, um, in order to search out those rabbits faster, or the tour guides, whatever you're going for. Um, and 
Honestly, another problem is the two the two tour guide because before you could run three tour guide and a Sangam, and it just worked out. You know, I mean, it worked. Um, and people are like, well, you still run you know two tour guide, a Sangam, and a tour bus. Problem is, before you had three tour guide and a Sangam. If you drew Sangam, cool, set it, they kill it, you get rabbit. If you drew tour guide, summon, overlay, bam, bring back your rabbit. You got your rabbit play. Now, draw tour bus. Um, set, end. It's not the same as drawing a tour guide. It's just not. So, it will hurt them, whether you say it will or not. Um, there's a rabbit. I don't know. I, I think they still have potential, but it's going to be a lot harder for them. Um, now let's talk about all the new decks that are coming out of, you know, let's talk about the older decks, actually, from the last format. You know, plants. I don't think plants are going to do well at all. You have to understand, the most common deck in this meta is Gravekeepers. Plant. Gravekeeper. No. Doesn't work. Plants hate Gravekeepers. Because Necker Valley says, nope, have a nice day. So, I don't think they'll do well, honestly. Um, Agents. They can drop B6 and they can exceed for a lot of stuff these days, so we'll have to see what happens. Um, the Mystic Shine Ball plays with the um, the uh, Genex Ally Birdman and stuff like that. There's so many different plays, um, so we'll just have to we'll have to see what happens. I mean, we just, we'll just have to see what happens. Um, you know, Dark World. They're they're that's another one of the most common decks these days. Is people are like, oh, we can play Dark World again. Yeah, let's let's play this. Let's play this. Um, so you know, those are coming back. You know, Twilight or Light Sworn additions, whatever you want to call them, I mean, there's tons of those running around again, because it's like, they got everything back, everything, triple JDs, one Chaos Sorcerer, one BLS, triple Necro Garnus, double Lumina, just, they got everything, so they could just summon, nuke, 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 nuke all day long, um, and there's nothing you can really do about it, and then, let's see, what else, um, this is, let's talk about some of the new decks, I guess you could say. Um, Atlantean. Their big-ass beat stick is a very, very formidable card. I mean, that thing can mess you over so hardcore, it's not even funny. Oh, look, I have three tokens that are water. Tribute, Summon, Trunin, Return All Yours. Oh, look, you, you know, return one of yours, return two of mine. Oh, look, all your monsters lose 900 attack. Guess what? Swing. Set my back rows again. And if you play Call the Haunted with him, like I said before, call, 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 bring three back, tribute, spell summon, return all three call to my hand, set. It's an end of the loop. Like, so you have to get an MST and kill those Call the Haunted. You have to. Otherwise, they just keep bringing that big dude out over and over and over. And it's a nightmare. Um, so Atlanteans, they got a lot of potential. Um, I, I want to see how good they do. I'm really excited for that. Spellbook. That's another archetype I'm really looking forward to. Spellcasters have so much support now. I mean, you can take the Spellbook archetype and throw crazy crap into it. You know, throw uh, Magical Dimension and throw uh, Secret Village of the Spellcasters, and you can shut your opponent down so hard with the cards they have now. I mean, you can literally just walk all over your opponent without without giving a care. <clears throat> the Spellbook monsters with um, Secret Village of the Spellcasters... I think that'll be a really, really big, um, I guess you say a threat. It'll be a really big threat. Um, Madolce. I don't know how they're going to do. I really don't. I mean, I've heard a lot of people say that they're a very interestingly competitive deck because nobody sees them coming. And I can see that. You know, it's an oddball deck. You don't expect to verse it. You're like, okay, what am I versing today? And all of a sudden they pull out Madolce. You're like, the back when people played Fortune Ladies, you're like, the hell does this thing do? And you're reading it, and you're like, what is going on here? You know, back when, you know, uh, Fortune Ladies were random, they played, you know, um, whatever thing was. Future, f Fortune's Future, or whatever? The, the card that banishes a monster when you summon it, and you're just like, what is going on here? You know, stuff like that. So, th I think that's, they're going to be an oddball deck this format. Um, Lovels, you know, they have a really big sack capability, you know, you might see a few of them running around. They're not very consistent, in my opinion, so you, I don't think you'll see a lot of them, but, you know, you'll still see them running around, because they're very, they're very sack. I mean, if you get the right card, just do, 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 you can't stop me. 
I'm going to go hard on you all day long and you have to kind of just sit there and stare at me. Pretty much how it is. Um, other decks. Samurais. You know, a lot of people right now are hyped about Samurais because you could just, they can pump out beat sticks. You know, with Excalibur, the new, uh, all all the new Heroic Champion, uh, Heroic Champion Excalibur and the new monster they got in their uh, structure deck, the Exceed monster. Those monsters are insane. Like, they could just pump out beat stakes like there's no tomorrow. I mean, just do, 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 do. I mean, they end with a Sheehan, an Excalibur sitting at 4,000, a 2,500, and like a Zanji. I mean, that's like turn one, and you're just sitting there going, Excuse me? I mean, like, there's not even a response to that. You're just like. I mean, there's just there's just no response to that. I mean, that that's just just crazy. I was watching DN the other day, and I saw someone do that on DN, and I was like, ew, just ew. <laughs> that's not right. Just do 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 swing for game. That's not okay. Um. So let's say we got samurai. We got um. We got all the you know off the wall decks. You know, all the you got the exodia. You got the 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 chain burn you got the you know, all those you know final countdown you know there's still really good decks uh empty jar you know people don't expect them and then all of a sudden you're reversing a chain burn and you're like I'm killing myself I can't do anything you know because that chain energy is just insane I mean when they open and you know set three face downs to drop double chain energy your mind really starts going oh shit this is not a good situation I'm gonna take a thousand damage per card and then those three face downs are obviously burn cards of like rid ridiculous proportions. So you know they're sitting there going, um, um, um. You know they're sitting there going, well, I don't even want to play a card. And most of the time they'll like summon one monster and they're like, okay, summon a monster. And you're like, okay. They're like, okay, I take a thousand. And they're like, yeah. You're like, okay. They're like, okay, I'll attack. You're like, oh, okay, I'll activate cylinder since it's at three. Or I'll activate magical dimension, which is at three. And they're like really and then they take their monster directly and then oh, it just it's horrible like chain burn right now is so nasty <clears throat> sorry i'll be doing a deck update on that later because chain burn is a deck i really want to play this format it's gonna be really nice triple cylinders and triple magical dimensions oh yeah and triple marshmallows no this this format's gonna suck it's gonna be amazing for chain burn players we're gonna suck for people who aren't who aren't ready to verse chain burn <clears throat> but um, Exodia and Final Countdown now with Card Card D, you know, amazing card. Um, you know, there's just so many decks. I mean, I could go on and on and on and on. I mean, there's just so many decks that have a good chance in this format. So I'm looking forward to this regionals. Um, I if if you're there, I hope to see you and say hi. Um, good luck to everyone going to the regionals on the first. I hope you win. If you don't, you know, let me know how you guys did. You know, so. This is the Gadget Guru. I'll catch you later.